Hello people, I hope you're all well, it's Madi Mishrafi from the Food Biz Talk. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Gary Vaynerchuk's $1.80 Instagram strategy. So, I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, he's a massive marketing mogul, has, has an agency and just a huge presence online. So, a few years ago, he did mention this one strategy and called the dollar eighty. So it's basically we will uh, soon explain it in further details. But it's a mass. It's it's a way to grow on Instagram and kind of be a part of the community. I've worked in the marketing company before. I've I've managed my own Instagram pages. I've uh, managed many Instagram pages and. Uh, this uh, this strategy is highly highly effective, and I've seen uh, the the amount your business can grow with actual real followers if you use this strategy. It's just an amazing strategy. I used it for my own business, and it did uh, create a lot of positive results. However, I won't be lying to you. I am kind of slipping. I need to be doing this more consistently. Uh, uh, we've been in business thankfully for about two years now, so. So I, I used to do it like pretty much every day when we first opened. I used to do it for a few months. I think probably for the first year, I'm not sure. But I used to consistently do it. And then now I've kind of stopped, but I need to really get back on it because it's still a massive thing. And I don't see many other businesses doing it, Many, especially in my sector. That's why it's still an opportunity for me. And that's why if it's an opportunity for my business, I think it could be an opportunity for you as well. So just do look into it. So it's called the dollar eighty strategy. And without further ado, I'm going to be showing you a demonstration of how to my business page. Uh, there's a lot of feed here, a lot of food pictures and videos. I could get lost here for a few hours. I swear. Uh, probably not an hour, but uh, you know what I'm saying. Okay. So what we're going to do is go on the explore page, which is right here, explore, and then see or wherever you are. That's why. I'm in Cardiff, so I'll be typing in Cardiff. And what Instagram does, it automatically gives you all the hashtags which include Cardiff in it. So that's an awesome way already to reach out to your local people. So I'm going to be going on Cardiff Foods, Brunch Cardiff. This is a good one. And here you can see many pictures, many pictures. But instead of being in here, what I'm going to do is recent. I'm going to go in recent. Uh, this is kind of the twist. So this is not exactly 100% a Gary V strategy, but it kind of is with a twist. So instead of going on the top post, you will go on the recent post. Because I believe if you post, if you comment on the most recent post, the the speed of interaction between you and the other user will be much faster as they just posted that content. Okay, that's why uh, That's why I'm going to go in here and look for something very delicious such as this Oreo. Wow, okay, I already gave it a like, so I'm going to re-like it. I'm going to read the description and I'm going to think of something to say which is meaningful and not just something like yum or so nice. All right, so I'm going to go and view all comments. And after I read the description, I'm just going to be like, Ooh, that looks delish. Bit of uh, that. All right, that's one. And then you go down literally onto this. Think of something else for that. And then, bam, you just go down. So the aim is to be doing nine posts. So nine posts on the recent tab. And then once you're done with that hashtag, you could work your way down. So you type in Cardiff. Hash, sorry. You type in hashtag Cardiff. 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 Yeah, guys, so that's what it is. So then you work your way down until you do 10 hashtags and comment on the first nine posts on the recent tab. So the more thoughtful your post, the better the likeliness of engagement. All right, that's it. However, there are there are a few things which I kind of want to mention, uh, which you can I, I want to kind of extend on. Three things I want to say is that 
if you become more personal so with the picture itself i know being personal you have to be really creative and it requires a lot of thinking as well uh but uh, the more personal you become the more the better the better your result will be so for example the person will see that comment and uh, most likely they will visit your profile they might not give you a follow but they'll acknowledge your business and they'll be and they'll that brand awareness will hopefully stick in their mind uh, another thing is try to bang it out quite often uh, try to do it every day so literally uh, when you have time when you're probably in a car while not driving obviously if you're in a passenger side or if you're in an uber or something uh, during travels just try to bang a few out and Hopefully it does it does benefit you because you know with this uh, uh, with anything really consistency is a massive thing. Uh, do not be kind of wary of the hashtags which you communicate with. Uh, we're fortunate enough to be in the food business, as you know, everyone needs food, so we could pretty much t- use any hashtag and and reach out to people use um, using our you know uh, two cents. So yeah, guys, this video is really short, uh, but uh, I just wanted to produce this video and to let you know this strategy does work and it's probably the best way to grow on Instagram organically. And also at the same time, you're, you're becoming a part of your community within Instagram. So it's an awesome way and I hope your business is utilizing it, especially if you're new to Instagram, do do that, do do it on a consistent basis and obviously, at the same time, uh, if they do want to follow you, you have to be producing excellent content or well, good content at least. And that will hopefully get them to follow you. I hope you enjoyed it. Do drop a subscribe and a like. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, peace.